Hello, friends, and welcome. You are watching episode number six of our RimWorld Fort Rancho Let's Play. My name is Sean, and I'm glad that you've chosen to spend some time watching me play video games tonight. When we left off, it was day number 15, and the ponds of Fort Ranchos were, I guess, um, um, having just been attacked. They were, they were recovering from an attack. I don't know why you are eating, dummy. You have got shot in the head. Maybe that's why you're eating, because you're shot in the head. But you need to go to the doctor's office. Uh, that being that bed right there. That's the temporary doctor's office anyway. And then Julian, you probably should be treating somebody instead of eating like a greedy, hungry person. But I'll let you eat. That's fine. Rasta, what are you doing? No, no, no. Try some healing, would you? Um, oh, excuse me. Boy, I am working on that third drink right now. Very rare occasion. Don't, uh, uh, so enjoy it while you can. If I make some weird mistakes, I'm going to blame it on having had a couple of beers because I do not drink. Um, so, uh, yep, enjoy the rare occasion where I have more than one drink. And the very rare occasion, wait a minute, how about the rare occasion that I drink while I'm doing one of these episodes? I think this is actually the first time I've ever drank uh, or not been completely sober while doing a Let's Play. Um, and uh, definitely the very rare occasion where I drink more than one drink in a sitting. Um, it's been about a year since I've had more than one drink in a day. Uh, and I'm on my third one. This is exciting. I can, my, head, my head feels warm. Um, so we had a pretty good, uh, pretty good battle there. Uh, between episodes I went through and I did look uh, to make sure that any, anybody who had an armored vest that I uh, set them to be stripped. So that way I won't... Uh, let their uh, armored vests get buried away, and so we're going to have a couple of armored vests after this is over with. Um, also, once everybody starts getting healed up, I'll have them grab uh, the better weapons than what they currently are using. I'll bulk grab a sniper rifle, and somebody will grab an AK-47. We lucked out. We got three of the five good weapons, or three of the four good weapons. One of them was carrying a piece of junk weapon. He got away. I don't care about that. Um, what I do need to do is replace those doors, and we're going to replace them with sandstone doors, because we have plenty of sandstone. So it was these three doors up here that got tore down, unfortunately. Now, I don't know why when they tore this down they didn't come charging through there, because they would have to tear down the, uh, the door that was existing. It's funny that they left those doors and came over to try to beat down on these doors. That almost feels like an exploit, that they will do that. Uh, but, I, you know, uh, I, I would feel exploitative if I had turrets, but I don't have turrets, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to beat myself up over it. It would be nice if I had, like, some sort of line of fire on their actions while they were working on those doors. I could put in more doors. Ooh, more door. I could put in a giant tower with an eye on top of it, too, apparently. Alright, men, what are you doing? You're recovering from your injury. You should be resting. So I've got pretty much everybody set to be a doctor at this point. Even the low-skilled doctors. Medicine is really broken in Alpha 16. I was a little concerned about, like, you know, I should use medicine on these guys' as injuries. Uh, but then I remembered that as long as you get their injury patched up in time, basically they're, they're immune from infection. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's how it works in Alpha 16. Um, I am going to want to clean up all this blood. Shoot. That's going to take a lot of uh, a lot of effort from my cleaners. I don't really want to go through and like micromanage all of the uh, all of the blood zones, but waiting for the rain is not going to do anything cuz they uh, um, it's it's not going to rain. This is the desert. The whole the whole point of playing in the desert. Get some home zones laid down here. Very good. Probably should have these walls protected. Oh, there's another door I need to replace. Good thing I came down here to look. Oh, now you're telling me I don't have enough sandstone either. Oh my gosh, we are burning through all of my stone. I guess I do have enough slate. I could build a slate door down there. Uh, slate. Cancel. So 
flashlight door. There we go. Nope. Q is for Factorio. Escape is for Rimworld. So when I was playing Factorio earlier, I was trying to use all the Rimworld hotkeys. Alright, get this stuff repaired, get that repaired, and get some of that blood cleaned up. What, uh, what are you doing, Rasta? Jeez, that is a long, long route you're taking. Oh, we are just about out of food. I need to get more food going. Um, that's probably a good idea. So this is all still soil down here. How I didn't notice I was running so low on food. That is the biggest uh, problem that I have um, is uh, staying on top of my food. And I don't know why I don't just like go crazy and like plant a ton of extra food. There's really no reason for it. Um, I, I just don't for some reason. I always want to have like exactly the amount of food I'm going to need. Some more planted over here and over here and there. There we go. We'll do strawberries there. Very good. Turn that speed up a little. Diego, what do you. Why would you choose to sleep there, though? I mean, of all the places you could be sleeping, I, I guess I understand that I turned your bed into a hospital bed and you can't sleep in it, but. You're so exhausted from cooking that, that you had to go sleep there? All right, well, um, uh, was it like Draconian Rose or something? I'm sorry, I don't remember your name exactly, but uh, she she asked why I have the pawns just dropping the food on the ground like that, and um, she's right, I shouldn't have that, because now that food is just gonna sit there. They have to go to the stockpile anyways to get, uh, I mean, you know, somebody will haul it eventually, but they have to go to the stockpile to pick up ingredients anyway, so that was a dumb choice on my part. That food needs to get into the freezer. So what did I do? I I reassigned everybody to a lower priority of um, ah good thing. Well, Rasta hauled some of that stuff. A lower priority because Rasta can only haul. Why is Rasta hauling all this junk from over there, but not hauling? Why don't you haul those things? There you go. Thank you. Why didn't you finish hauling? Is that like considered a is stripping considered a hauling task? Like you've got a lot of hauling to do, and you're doing burying and all these other weird things. The whole idea was that you were going to be like the hauling king. You're sort of being a hauling king. I guess you are set to, to do cooking as a high priority cook as well. So we must have 10 meals then. Oh, we have 14 meals. All right, well, I guess that explains why you were cooking when you could have been hauling. Do I want to trade with the slaver? You know, I don't think there's really going to be much that I want to get from them, but I will... Uh, I will uh, start it up anyway. Uh, Julian would be the one to do that. Julian just happens to be fairly close to the slaver in the first place. I want him to get that uh, stone. There you go. Get the stone pretty close to the door, well, since he's carrying it already. All right, yeah, Julian's got a neck scar that supposedly makes him incapable of negotiating a good deal, but we could get a good price for Spider there. I don't want to sell him, but we could. Um, no? Alright, well that was a, an ex interesting exchange of, of uh, ideas. I'm gonna do that, get rid of that whatever pathetic weapon I had there. Um, so I don't want Julian to use that, I want Volk to use the uh, sniper rifle. Oh, that's an assault rifle anyway, so Julian, I guess you can use that assault rifle. And um, I felt like there was a sniper rifle. No, we did get the pistol after all. Well, shoot. I was wrong. Again. Did you equip that plasteel knife? Rasta, why don't you come over and equip uh, the uh, LMG? Actually, I don't really want you to equip the uh, 
Yeah. Oh, hey, armored vests get the dead man's penalty on him. I guess it's personal shields that don't get the dead man's penalty on him. Dang. So there was no need for me to strip those pawns before I buried them. It's gonna give my, uh, give my, give Rasta more hauling to do though. That's good news, right? Solar flare. Well, it's too bad. Luckily, it's not. I mean, it's warm. It's 84 degrees, but it's not like super hot. We are in the desert, but not that kind of desert, I guess. So we're building up a little bit of blocks. I kind of want to wait until all this blood gets cleaned up before I start giving everybody additional tasks. I do have everybody set to where eventually they'll, they'll start doing some cleaning. Probably should give Rasta his own bed as well. Oh, that's right. Rasta's going to need his own bedroom, so I think I'm going to hold off. Unhappy. Yeah, that's Rasta. He's the unhappy dude to me, huh? Uh, really? Um, Diego, are you one of the ones that I can draft and have you fight the fire? I guess you are. Good. There we go. Luckily, there was... Wait, I guess it wouldn't be that there wasn't much power in there because of the solar flare. The solar flare doesn't drain your battery. So there may have been a lot of, Probably was full. Close those down. It's a real shame that Rust is really focusing on carrying apparel. <laughs> So I figured out a way to game the system on Dead Man's equipment. We're gonna go clear all, we're gonna go critical, peril, and we're gonna allow Dead Man's, oh wait, we're not gonna allow non-Dead Man's clothing. So we'll bring all of the Dead Man's clothing over to this area where it can just rot away in the sun. And then we'll set this one under the roof too. Uh, uh, this will bring in the non-Dead Man's clothing at the more normal uh, priority level. I don't think that's like a genius uh, discovery or anything, but that's just something that I was like, hey, that, that would work. All right, well, it looks like our new friend, quote unquote friend, Rasta, is uh, on another stupid uh, fire starting spree. Really gonna make me regret bringing you on board uh, so Mint is the only one who can, like, legitimately fight a fire. Uh, I was gonna say, why aren't you actually going down and fighting that fire, Mint? Did I not... Oh. Oh, boy. I just don't want him spending all that time cleaning the dirt and... What are you doing, Mint? Oh, shit, Volca's on fire. <laughs> There we go, thank you. Well, I... Uh, I don't like that I only have one person capable of putting out a fire. <laughs> I, I know that's my own fault for accepting... A, no, don't! Uh, okay, I guess you can. But you're gonna need to go put that fire out now. Uh, seriously, that is not under the... Um, Not considered part of my home area. Just go there. Stop frickin' asking me what I want to do. Rasta, chill your, chill your stuff, jerk. Jason, Jason, okay, good, thank you. Driving poor Julian crazy. I thought you guys were supposed to be friends. Must have been a different, uh, must have been a different series. All right, 
let's uh, lock that door open and lock that door open and that one, that one, and that one too. And how about those? Whoops, that's not the right button. That's the right button. There we go. Just one more thing for me to forget when time comes around. Look at that, 326 wood. It's like a like a, uh, a bonanza. That does remind me, I need to plant some trees. Plant them in the plant them in the margins here. Trees probably don't grow very well in, in uh, this terrible soil, but I'm gonna plant them anyways. I don't know why I plant pine trees. I want poplar trees. Those will not be destroyed by a blight. see here. Um, fertility sensitivity 50%. I'm not sure exactly what that means. Fertility requirement 30%, so they should be able to grow in gravel. Fertility 70%. So I think that they will grow at 85% uh, um, because the 50% fertility rate versus 50% times 70%. Uh, so half of 70% is 35%. So 50% plus 35% gives you 85%. So that should be the, the rate at which they grow. And that. All right, man, we still haven't gotten any of that blood cleaned up. That's the important thing. I need to get, just get, get cleaning that blood. Come on. It looks awful. Bringing everybody down. That and the lack of clothing. <laughs> fact that everybody's walking around naked. I don't have any cotton. I don't even think I have any plans to plant cotton. I do have plans to plant heel root, and I don't have anybody high enough, um, high enough skill for it. Cotton. Where's the cotton? There it is. like mint is idle. That's because mint mint's too good to do any hauling or cleaning. Um, I guess I should set up some construction for mint then. Oh wait, yeah, mint can do construction. Alright. I really don't want to take bulk away from doing any uh, cleaning, but alright, so um, we're going to go, I have all sorts of blocks. We'll do start with sandstone. Since we're running so short, I don't want to waste them, even on a space that, because that's eventually going to have a, not even so much eventually, it's going to have a uh, vent built there. So we've got, what, 20, 40, 60, 80, and I have 120, 90, 110, 120. Well, I wanted to select all three of those. I don't know why you only will select one. Tear those down. Yeah, see, you guys, you guys should be cleaning instead of building. Oh my God, you guys shouldn't be building. That's for sure. Why are all these guys constructing when there's cleaning to be done? that blood cleaned up. They were just throwing away uh, sandstone blocks, unfortunately. Alright, next up, slate blocks. Structure. Slate blocks. There we go. And slate blocks there. 
So that's what, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 55, 70, 85. I do have enough wood where I can put wood doors on those. We'll have decent sized uh, individual bedrooms now. Once they get those walls finished up, get Ross to some clothes. Now, Diego's naked. Is Diego a nudist or something? Diego must not be completely naked. Must have some pants. There we go. Tattered up synthroid pants. Building those stone bricks into the night. Diego, thank you. Thank you for your hard effort. Poor Rasta. Also has to sleep in the common room where everybody's walking through. Poor this guy. Has a horrible, horrible prison cell. Doesn't seem to have anybody coming to, uh, actually trying to, uh, recruit him. Isn't, uh, isn't like Julian a high, high level warden? Not doing a very good job there, Julian, with your next car. That makes you, a, screws up your social skills, apparently. I guess I need to set that to be hauled, otherwise nobody's ever gonna haul it. And Diego will sit down on top of it, though. <laughs> Bedrooms. Move those over. And then, uh, make a copy. It's made out of wood. I guess it doesn't really matter. We've got a little bit of wood. We aren't made out of wood. So I'll give everybody their own individual bedroom now, finally. Um, what do we got? We got slate and marble. So structure, slate wall. That's 25, 50, 75, 100, and marble. Right. Same thing. Actually, I don't really need to count that off because it's gonna be less than less than 100. Um, and uh, I think I'll go ahead and go with steel doors on this. It doesn't really matter. I need to put a wall segment or two in there so we can roof it off. Probably ought to leave some of these for air conditioning instead of uh, instead of doors. I don't really need all those doors there. Pointless to have all those vents if I don't have any climate control system set up. Uh, we're going to run power conduits. Actually, I'm going to run that power conduit through there and along here so I can tear out the ugly power conduit running along the ground there. I'm going to have to move the um, move that wind thing before too long too. We're gonna have to enclose the, uh, actually probably enclosing our greenhouse here. Is, should probably be our next step after getting our housing set up. Because winter will be here before too long. And yes, it'll probably be a fairly mild winter, but um, I don't want to, uh, I, wanna, I wanna have nice climate controlled growing conditions. Even here in the desert, We can still try to grow stuff over here. We got a lot of gravel and stuff coming in over there too. Hey, look at that. We recruited Spider. All right, so what's Spider's story? Spider has all sorts of goodies going on. Cook and a grower and a crafter. Well, don't make me end this episode quite yet. 
All right, so you're going to cook. And that means I'm going to take Rasta off. Rasta's our best, second best cook. So I'm going to take you off of cooking because you're my hauling and cleaning specialist. It's really the only thing you can do. Kind of a decent warden, but I'd rather have Diego. Actually, Diego can do some other stuff, so I'm going to have you level up in wardening. All right, I think that'll be okay. Um, so uh, I, I guess I probably am going, getting too ahead of myself. Let's go ahead and assign that there. All right, so you're a good cook, so you're going to cook first off. Um, you're not going to construct with any priority, but you are going to grow. Oh, finally, we can get that uh, heel root planted. Um, Volk, you don't, you're not going to grow anymore. Um, mining, yeah, that's fine. Uh, nope. Research is okay, I don't mind, but you're going to craft because you're a high-level crafter. Actually, uh, or you will be a high-level crafter. Let's get you trained up. Um, and uh, you can, well, you'll be tailoring and smithing once we get to that part, but I don't need to worry about that right now. All right, I think that'll be okay. Um, great, guys. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, I know I've had fun. Um, and, uh, um, yeah, I'm going to change that real quick. Uh, yeah, hope you had a good time. Uh, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, it really makes me happy to see all the viewers and views. I really appreciate everybody. And, uh, 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 you know, I'm glad that you commented and stuff, and uh, I hope you had fun. I guess I've said that like three times now. Uh, thank you for subscribing, and I hope you will watch the next episode. I will not be drinking tomorrow, um, so you know, be ready for more a more standard bit of conversation. I don't think that uh, you guys could tell I've been drinking, but I definitely feel feel a little bit. Uh, I'll see you then. Bye.